Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on a new Odin's Eye collection. It is called the Legendary Diversa Collection. It's in collaboration with three YouTubers and it has three eyeshadow palette. Basically each one of the girls designed a palette. The palette themes have to do with cultural heritage and so let's just dig in. I'm going to say one thing up close starting the video. These are the best palettes I've ever tried from Odin's Eye and this is the best collection I've ever tried from Odin's Eye. So if you've been thinking about the brand, definitely go for these because these palettes are so beautiful. Before I even show you guys these beautiful palettes, their price is going to be 27.90 euros per palette and each palette comes with a themed scarf. So for example, this is the scarf for the hummingbird palette. This right here is the scarf for the red dragon palette. And lastly, here is the scarf for the Giant Wolf's palette. So the scarf has the same imagery as the front of the palettes. Like I said, they each retail for $27.90. In the email that I originally received, it said that not all affiliate codes are going to be available for this launch. I'm still going to be leaving you guys my link below and you can shop through it and you can try the affiliate code, although it might not work. And then if you're in the US, the palette launches the 19th of September at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. With Odin's Eye, I'm always confused with launches because they say that the palette launches on the 20th, but in our time, it is the 19th at 6 p.m. So, let me show you guys the palettes. Let's go ahead and start with the Hummingbird palette. This eyeshadow palette was created in collaboration with Tina from the Fancy Face. I'm obsessed with the outside packaging of this one. I love hummingbirds. I remember back when I was little, I used to always see these flying around in Cuba. And the inside of this palette is the most beautiful, colorful thing I have ever seen in my life. I am obsessed with this color story. I love that she put some rich, vibrant shades in there. I love that she included a very light shade and the shimmers are so beautiful i can't wait to show you guys the swatches the next palette i'm going to show you is the red dragon palette this one was created in collaboration with judy and this is going to be the most wearable palette in the collection again i love the image and the packaging of this palette so so much look at those colors on the outside and then once you open it this is going to be the most wearable palette out of the collection it's got some really beautiful warm and neutral matte shades i believe this one also has the most matte shades out of the whole collection but it still has four really fabulous shimmers i love that she included some greens in there some burgundy some orange and i also love that she added some more neutral everyday shades and last but not least we have the giant wolves palette this one was created in collaboration with annette from annette's makeup corner and again, the outside packaging on this palette is unreal. Absolutely love those beautiful woofs on the outside there. And then once you open the palette, I would say this one's kind of like more grungy palette of the trio, but I do love that it still has some really beautiful colorful shades. I'm obsessed with the color in the middle on the bottom row. It's called Eternal and it's almost like a trio chrome shade. I see blue, I see silver, I see a little bit of pink when I swatch it. It is such a beautiful shade. I can't wait to put it all over my eyeballs. <laughs> the mattes in this palette are quite impressive and four of them are pretty dark so you're going to get the most smoky, dark, sexy looks with this palette and it is absolutely lovely. Now let's go ahead and move on to some swatches. I'm going to begin by swatching the Hummingbird palette. Here is the color Feathers, Red Hills, Star Apple, Swallowtail, Tropics, Lagoon, Hibiscus, Beach Sands, Hummingbird, that one's beautiful. Oh my god, all of these shades are just so spectacular. Fancy, 
obsessed with that color immediately. Blue Fields and Clear Blue. Okay, so here are the swatches and I can immediately tell you that I think these are going to be my favorite Odin's Eye palettes I have ever tried. The formulas feel incredible and the shimmer shades, the dual chromes, the glitters, the mattes, just the color story, everything about this palette I'm currently obsessing over. I cannot wait to put those shimmers all over my eyeballs. I am so, so impressed by this palette and this beautiful, colorful story. Wow. Let's begin with the swatches of the Red Dragon palette. Here's the color Sunrise. Then we have Solar Flare. Beautiful, beautiful dual chrome. Third color is Claw. These are so creamy. Then we have Overheat, Jade, Luna, Amber, Jean, and Serene. Sorry, that was out of focus, but this is Amber, Jean, and Serene. And lastly, we have Fire, Aurora, and Dragon. Whoa, Dragon is so pigmented. Okay, so here are all of the swatches for Judy's palette, the Red Dragon palette. When I first saw this one, I immediately knew I was going to love it because these are more basic colors, more neutral colors, and it still has some really fun deep shades and some amazing looking dual chrome shimmers so i'm super excited to play with this one finally here are the swatches for the giant wolves palette and i didn't do light swatches for this one because you guys get it they're super creamy one swatch pigment and it's a little bit easier for me to not do them standing up <laughs> so um here are the colors astral flare antipode annihilation i think is what that says Skull, Desolate, Howling, Hattie, I think, um, Ablaze, Cosmos, Eternal, which is the most beautiful shade I've ever seen and the camera is not doing it justice. This is like a trio chrome shade. I see silver and blue and gold and it's so beautiful. Um, and then Azure right here. So just take a look at those beautiful swatches. This palette really surprised me. I really love the deep intense shades and the bright beautiful shimmery colors. So stunning. I'm dying to try this one so let's just dig in. I'm going to get my refer number 15 brush and the color clear blue down here. This one seems to be the only one that's kind of like transition-y. I'm going to do the inner part of the crease with it right here. And to build it up, since it's such a light shade, I'm kind of tapping the color, not going back and forth too much because I don't want it to blend away. So tap it back and forth with a fluffy brush. Same thing on here, of course. Same brush and I'm going to grab hibiscus right here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the outer half of my eye with it. Just pat, pat, pat that color. Whoa! With a clean brush, I'm going to diffuse this top edge. This is the rougher number 12. And I'm just running it over that top edge of the shade Hibiscus. Nothing added to it. Just diffusing so that it blends out nicely. And we're going to do the same thing on this side, of course. Just blending it back and forth on the crease. Okay, I grabbed a little bit more clear blue on a smaller brush, my refer number 14, just because I wanted to make sure it blended nicely right here in the middle where the two colors meet. Back and forth with the smaller fluffy brush and some more clear blue. And I'm going to diffuse this top edge with the refer number 12 brush, nothing added. I mean the color two shades in and this already looks so freaking beautiful and colorful i want to darken up this outer corner and i'm going to use the color star apple right here and i have my refer number 14 brush and i'm going to first just tap it right on the outer v of the eye right here and then from here we're going to start blending it upwards into the crease shade ever so slightly and i'm doing super soft little circles around the edge of that purple shade so that it blends into the color hibiscus and back with my refer 15, a tiny bit of hibiscus and I'm going to swipe it over the edge because I don't want that purple to go up too high. I want hibiscus to be visible up here. That looks so good. A little bit more of the purple shade and we're going to do the same thing on this eye. I'm darkening up the outer corner of the eye by tapping the color in place. 
but we already blended it up so I'm not going to blend it up anymore with the smallest blending brush I have which is my refer number 13 I'm just going to touch the edge right here I think I want to use the color tropics right here just with the tip of my finger in the center of the eyelid and I'm just going to tap 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 that color all over the center of the eyelid make it meet with this outer corner color just a tiny bit so that they blend together <laughs> oh that looks so good same thing on this eye of course if you have any edges back here just blend them with whatever's left on your um, small blending brush and then with my refer number two brush I'm going to go into the color fancy which I think was the color that I was the most impressed by right away because it's such a beautiful dual chrome shade and that's going to be the inner part of the eye right here there we go I'm going to go over the blue with it a little bit hoping that it blends together nicely and we'll do the same over here okay now this eye same thing I'm going to grab hummingbird here with my finger and I'm going to pat it right here over the edge of the blue and the purple just because I think this is going to yeah I really like that I think it makes it for a smoother transition back here this is pretty colorful for me but I am so obsessed with every single one of the different shades I love it <laughs> Let's do the under eye. We definitely have to bring that dark purple color down here. So we're going to do star apple with my refer number three and back and forth blend it right underneath my lower lash line. Okay, this looks pretty harsh right now, but we will um, soften it. For the waterline, I'm going to use my Fenty Cuting Eyeliner. And now to soften the under eye, I'm going to use my 13 brush in the color Hibiscus and blend it right underneath that purple shade okay so just blending and diffusing down here I know that this looks super dark and intense but these were all the colors that I wanted to play with so um, I did it <laughs> I'm going to put on some mascara and lashes and I'll show you guys the final look actually I bought this makeup by Mario mixing medium and since I've gone crazy let's just do some more you know I'm going to should I put it in a jar or just straight on the thing I'm going to add a drop to this eyeshadow right here the color fancy and I'm going to pick it up with my brush I'm going to line halfway through my crease with the mixture okay same thing on here just like that I kind of like that now for real I'm going to do my mascara and lashes and I'll be right back Okay, so here it is with mascara and lashes applied. This is my final look with this beautiful hummingbird palette. I am obsessed. Now that the lashes are on, I think everything is just coming together. Like, it looks more put together. I'm really obsessed with the shimmers in this palette and the color story. But know that, well, I'm sure that you can do much less dramatic looks with this one every look that you come out with is going to be on the more colorful vibrant side so if you don't like color i would stay away from it but if you love this color story if you like really beautiful pigmented shimmers and colorful looks i think this palette is incredible. While I'm personally not the most colorful person, for some reason, the colors that do come in this palette are the ones that I'm usually much more inclined to use. So I think that while very colorful, the look is beautiful, and I totally feel confident enough to wear this out of my house. I'm obsessed. I really, really liked this little palette, and I really love the look that I created. I used all of the shades that piqued my interest together and this is what came out. I had the light a little bit down so that you could see the intensity of the colors, um, but this is what everything looks like when it's a little bit brighter and uh, I love it. Let's move on to the next palette. For the second look, let's start playing with the beautiful, beautiful Red Dragon palette by Judy. And I'm going to start with the color Sunrise on my refer number 15 brush. Just back and forth, blending it. A little bit more back here. And all the way to the inner part of the eye. With that same brush, I'm switching to the color Jade. And I'm going to 
incorporated into the eye look on the outer and the inner corners of the eye. I'm blending it into that first color we applied. This color jade is really beautiful. And I went back for a little bit more to build it up, make it a bit more intense. Okay, I'm going to intensify things even more with the color Claw. I'm using my refer number one brush and I'm tapping it on the outer corner of the eye. And I'm going to start blending it with the tip of the brush into the color Jade ever so slightly. I'm going to do something unusual and I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I want to try it. Here's the color Dragon. I want to put it right here. Blend it into that brown right there. <laughs> Let's see how that looks. Just patting it in place. So pretty. Blending around it a little bit. And then I'm going to use the color Overheat on my refer number two brush. And that's going to be the inner half of my eyelid right there. A little bit more dragon just because I do want it to be visible right here on the edge of the shimmer. Okay, I'm not mad at that. That actually looks good. Okay, I went back to my Mario Mixing Medium and I added a drop to the color Solar Flare. And I'm going to put it on the inner half of my crease right here. Okay, so here's the top of the eye. Now let's go ahead and do the bottom. I'm going to use the shade Jade right underneath here. Back and forth, I'm using a refer number 13 brush to blend it. And I'm going to darken it up a little bit with the color Claw and a refer number 3, a pencil brush. Back and forth, blend it, blend it. And then back with Solar Flare, I'm going to drag it right here on the inner half of the under eye. Okay, so this right here is the eyeshadow look. I'm not sure about that mixing medium and that Bobbi Brown eyeliner brush that I'm using. I think something's not working because I can't get it to be super precise. So now I have a thick line on the top there. I don't hate it. I think it looks good, but I think it could be better. And I don't know if it's the mixing medium, the eyeshadow that I chose, or the brush, but something made it a little bit too thick. Anyways, let me go ahead and put on mascara and lashes and I'll show you the final look with this beautiful Red Dragon palette by Judy. Okay, I'm back with some mascara and lashes on. Ooh, I forgot eyeliner. Hold on, hold on. I went ahead and applied my Chanel eyeliner in Noir Enigmatique, which is 944. I think this has been discontinued, so I'll link it down below if I find it, but I'm not sure that I'll be able to. Anyways, I love that eyeliner because it's like a super, super dark green and this right here is the eyeshadow look with mascara and lashes applied absolutely love it i love the shimmers i love the mattes i adore this combination of colors i think it looks spectacular and of course all of the eyeshadows blended beautifully so let's go ahead and do the third look last but not least the giant wolves palette right here so excited. So for the Giant Woofs palette, I think I'm going to start with the shade Antipode and that's going to be right here on the crease of my eye. This is my refer number one brush and I'm going to start just doing little circles around the crease area to blend it. Um, and I didn't start with a lot of that shade because I want it to be my transition shade since there aren't super light shades in this palette. So I'm going to just try and blend this shade as much as I possibly can. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to use the shade Howling and I'm going to build it right here on the outer corner of the eye still with my refer number one brush. And I'm going to start doing little circles around this edge I created now to diffuse it upwards. Actually, I just grabbed the color Antipode and I'm going to just run it over the edge of the purple with my refer number 13 brush so that it diffuses it nicely and then back with a clean brush i'm going to go over both shades with my refer number two i'm going to apply the color skull right here on the edge of the purple and just tap it in place right there that is a beautiful beautiful shade Wow. With that same brush, I'm going to grab the color Eternal, which is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And the camera, again, it's not doing it justice. Let's see once I put it on my eye. I'm obsessed with that shade. It looks so beautiful. I think on the eye, you can see it best because the swatch didn't look like much either, but I love it. And it looks more blue in person too. Like it's got blue and pink, it's so pretty. And I'm putting that one like halfway in on my eyelid. A little bit more of the shade Skull right here with my finger. Wow, I'm in love, I'm obsessed. <gasps> so pretty. I'm going to use the color Howling underneath the eye on a pencil brush. 
and diffuse it with a little bit of antipode on a rougher number 13 brush. Okay, another Chanel eyeliner. This one is number 30 Marine, and I figured it would go well with this shimmer on the outer corner right here. Lastly, with my rougher number two, the color Astral, right here on the inner corner. I mean, that is beautiful. Okay, so here's a third look with a Metz palette, the Giant Wolves palette. I'm obsessed. Those shimmers are everything. Let me go ahead and put on some mascara and lashes, and I'll show you the final look. Okay, I'm back with mascara and lashes on, and this is my final look with the Giant Wolves palette. I am completely obsessed with the shimmers in this one. I love, love, love the shimmers in this palette so much. The way that my eye sparkles right now is unreal. So beautiful. Not enough good things I can say about this collection overall. I love every single palette for different reasons, and they're all so well thought out. I think these girls did such a fantastic job picking out the shades and curating their palettes and they go so well with the theme of the collection. I'm obsessed. Back with both of my looks on and as I've been saying throughout this whole video, I am obsessed with this collection. This is again the best collection that I have tried from Odin's Eye, hands down from the packaging to the color selection to the formulas. Everything about it is just very, very exciting to me. As far as picking out a favorite palette, there is no way, no way I could do that. I would say if you're interested and you like to keep things more on the natural, very wearable side, go for the Red Dragon palette because this is the most wearable of them all. If you like bright, vibrant colors, go for the Hummingbird palette because that is exactly what you will find in this one. And then if you like darker, grungier eyeshadow looks with spectacular shimmers, then go for the Giant Wolves palette and you can create looks like this one right here which I'm obsessed with, <laughs> like I've said. And you'll get super dark, grungy, smoky eyes that shine like crazy. So no way I can pick a favorite. I will give you guys that homework. Let me know down in the comment section which one of the three palettes is your favorite. Remember, they launch on the 19th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll leave you my link below. I'm not sure about the affiliate code. I don't think it'll work, but you can try it. A huge thanks to Odin's Eye for sending these over my way so that I can try them, review them, and create looks for you guys ahead of time in preparation for the release, which is just lovely. I wish I could do that with every single brand. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know which palette you're picking up down in the comments section. Please don't leave without subscribing subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye!